Hello, today I'm excited to share some thoughts with you about forming trust on your teams. This is an important topic because the more trust that we form on our teams, the faster we can go and the better outcomes that we can have. My name is Veronica Setsky and I'm the Senior Director of People Ops here at PAX 8. I've learned these tips and tricks through years of coaching as well as developing my own skills as a leader. All right, tip number one, relationships. We have our peers, we have our supervisor, and there's no better way to start forming these relationships than having regular one-on-ones. It doesn't have to just be with your supervisor. It can be with your coworkers, it can be with those people that you collaborate regularly with, and it's really important in these one-on-ones that we're spending time listening. Certainly, talk back and forth, make it an enjoyable conversation, but definitely take the time to be present and listen. Secondly, spend time together not working. Have lunch together, go for coffee, take a five minute walk around the building and just have a conversation. It's really important that you're having these conversations because again, relationships are a key element to trust. So tip number two, allow yourself to be vulnerable. Really easy way to do that is to actually ask for feedback, whether it's feedback about a project, a process, or even maybe a leadership behavior that we're trying to master. It's really important that we open ourselves up to that feedback and ask for it. This allows those on our team and those around us to see us as willing to be vulnerable. Trust and vulnerability go hand in hand. It doesn't mean that we're weak, but rather that we're open. Acknowledge when you don't know the answer and commit to getting an answer. You can't know it all, and it's okay to say that. It allows your team to understand that it's a safe place for them to also be vulnerable. Tip number three, clear is kind. Keep the team informed and say as much as you can about what you know. There are times that we hold information that could actually be shared. Why? We could share that information that impacts others' work and have them have the opportunity to use that to do better. If you've learned something that could actually help your colleague make a better decision, why would you not share that? Try to ensure that your communication with others is clear. When you make the effort to be clear about your intentions, your work, your roadblocks, it opens others up to doing the same. The level of trust you build will create the ability for the team to move quickly because you're all on the same page. I hope these tips help you build trust with the people you work with. Trust makes our work faster and better, and taking the time to establish trust is critical to our success. Thank you so much for watching.